Located 150 kilometers from Manila, in the Zambales province, the island of San Salvador, Masinloc, is populated by fishermen and farmers. Its 230 hectares and four villages are home to 371 households. In the late 1980s, members of the community started to organize as the People's Organization of San Salvador, SPSS, to address environmental and livelihood issues. In 2011, the Asian Development Bank initiated a mangrove rehabilitation project. SPSS was chosen to implement the project in San Salvador. Supported by local government, they targeted four areas for the intervention. Island, kaya kapag magtanim kami nito, mababawasan yung pagbabawas. Kasi mahaharangan na po ngayon yung mga lupa. Okay, ang um, breeding ground siya ng mga fish. Ng mga fish mga crustaceans. You can see different uh, migratory birds inside the, you know, inside the mangrove area. Eh. Oh, yung mga seashells, there's a lot of uh, species of seashells. <laughs> no. Combined with coral and seagrass, mangroves sustain and protect the island. The current project has received 375,000 Filipino pesos, or about 8,500 US dollars, and covers 9 hectares of the island. SPSS has planted and maintained more than 25,000 mangrove propagules per hectare on the island. I don't know if I Para din po sa mga anak at mga apo namin, yung mga sumusunod po sa amin. Kasi palagi ka kung hindi po namin gagawin to pagdating ng araw, picture na lang po yung makikita ng anak namin. Hindi na nila makikita yung totoo. People acceptance ng ano? People acceptance? Uh, kasi siyempre dati walang mangroove doon bigla na magkakaroon, di ba? Basta na hindi nila alam kung ano yung kahalagahan ng bakawan. Performance indicators are encouraging. The mangroves have been planted. However, due to a lack of result indicators, the impact of the project is still not clear. But uh, maybe in the near future, uh, three, after three years, four years, uh, uh, we can see the impact on uh, the development of the uh, fish, fish cap. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. A continued commitment to the mangroves and further community awareness about their benefits can serve to protect the biodiversity of this beautiful island.